Hello everyone, this is Silver Hair Gamma, and welcome to Gamma's Kitchen. As you can see today, I'm doing a different kind of video. Um, it has been a long, 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 long way to do with silver. It's about saving money and things. And um, I'm starting this, um, this is part of revamping my channel <coughs> on things to do to save money so you can do silver, collect silver. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So what I'm doing is um, showing you how easy it is to take Lanny and her advice. Now we all got to eat dinner. If you don't eat anything else, you at least eat dinner. So what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to fix dinner. As you can see, I'm making spaghetti tonight. It's a quick meal. Um, and it saves you a lot of money from going out to eat, which is something we do a lot and we're cutting back on that. So, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to start fixing the meal and show you that in the time it takes for you to decide what you want to eat or what you want for takeout or where you want to go to eat, what you want to eat, how many people want this, how many people want that, go and go get it, bring it back. By the time you bring it back, you start eating, it's cold, you know, sometimes you don't get everything you want, blah, blah, blah. So. This, in the same amount of time it takes to do that, you can start cooking a meal. So, I got all my stuff out of here. My hamburger, my sauce, my skeddies. I got my add tos up here, spices and everything up my cupboard. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on, get my skillet hot to cook the meat. I'm going to start filling this up with water for the noodles. There we go. And make sure I got everything up there. So I'm gonna go ahead, open this. Now what I do is I do make a lot of sauce and things because uh, what we don't eat I freeze. So and if you're gonna cook, you might as well cook enough to where you can actually warm it up. And Oh, I almost had to have hubby, hubby sitting over there watching me doing this thing. I think most of us women know that feeling. <laughs> Hush over there. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, you do your little ingredients. You know, you doctor it up. It, you know, I, you can make a homemade sauce, which I am, I can make, I have made. Um, hubby's never had it because, you know, you're in a hurry, especially if you're working. And, you know, you got, you got a whole family to cook for. So when you make your own meals though, like I said, the good thing about it is that your family is together. You know, people say, I don't have time to cook, I don't have time to cook, I don't have time to cook. But like I said, you're sitting there deciding um, what you're wanting. If you want takeout, if you want to go sit and dine in somewhere. Uh, you know, in this, it, it, it's a lot of conversation that you don't need to be having. So uh, as you can tell, this is kind of a real-time conversation and uh, cooking we're having here. So let me get my meat. We love a very meaty sauce. And the time to get that set, I've got my water. Matter of fact, a little too much. Let me take towel and dry the bottom of my thing there. That's why I always put a dish towel on my handle of my stove. It's easy for everything. And crank that sucker up so it can start to boil. Put a little, a little bit of oil in there. And spaghetti is one of those things where you can get it started and then go on with life. Because uh, once you get your meat, oh, wow, oh, my hand. 
and it's just not working. Um, you know, once you get your meat uh, fried up, and you know, you got this ready-made sauce, you can use Prego, whatever you guys want. I mean, we just happen to have ragu. Always turn the containers over so the sauce can. So, the point of doing this is to save money. Um, this whole meal, the most expensive part really is the meat. And, uh, you know, noodles cost, you can get coupons. Um, I recommend people start the coupon. And, uh, like I got Barilla noodles. Um, the store, Kroger here, at one point, had them on sale for a dollar a box and uh, we had coupons so the noodles were dirt cheap we got like five seven of them and uh, you know then the sauces what the amount of sauce I put in there mine is like seven so less than a dollar for the noodles is like eight. And there you go. So for eight dollars, you can have a spaghetti meal. You can have time with your family. It just so happens no one's right here at the very single moment, except for hubby, and I don't like talking to him much, but if the kids were here, um, you know, they'd be running around and it'd be a learning experience for them to learn how to cook. Um, that's how I taught, well, the youngest one, Cameron, he can't cook, he can't boil water, but um, Ian, the other one, can actually cook meals. And the first thing he learned how to cook was spaghetti. But like with the little ones, uh, like my six-year-old, Nina, she already knows what to do. She's watched grandma, and grandma for the past six years cooking. And she likes to do, help Gemma make hamburger patties and stuff like that. So, uh, okay. And then you got your pepper. I recommend to everyone to get a pepper mill and grind your own pepper. But, you know, I've been doing this for so, so many years of my life. It'd be weird to do have a regular salt and pepper shaker. Um, I did have a salt grinder, but it went to put. I've got a new one. These are new. The other ones I've had so long they just went to put. Um, we were out of onions, or else I'd be chopping up onions, throwing it in here. Um, I always like to cook my onions with my meat. Where? In the bottom tray on the right. Really? Well, we did. Too late now. <laughs> well, you should have told me. I would have had them cut up. I'm getting this sucker started. All righty. Let me see if I can get some onion cuts. And that. Ooh, we got one left. Awesome. We have one onion left. Let me get. Where's. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Oops. Alright. Let's chop up some onion. Okay. Honey. Where's my hinkle? It should be in the first drawer. Huh? It should be in the first drawer. Oh, there it is. Okay, folks. I'm going to pause this while I clean this onion, so I'll be right back. Oh. All right. I got the onion skin, and what I do for the onion is I cut it in half. Because the onion has natural 
lines in it, and I use the lines. And then, this is how I dice my onions. It's already been cut one way, I'm cutting it another. My hands don't work like they used to. I used to be able to do this in my hand, believe it or not. But I don't have it anymore in me. So I have to do it this way. with the meat. Um, it kind of soaks up the flavor, makes it nice and tender. You know, oh god, my hands. Honestly and truthfully. Um, cutting it this way also, I don't cry as much. You know, I don't have the onion aroma making me bald kind of thing. And, uh, you know, uh, okay, you know, we all got our ways of cooking and stuff. Uh, this is just how I do mine. Um, to me, it's quick. Uh, you sh wait till you see me do a uh, roasted chicken. That's going to be awesome. But, uh, yeah, like, uh, the kids were here. They'd be running around in the kitchen watching me, wanting to help. Um, doing it this way, you spend time with your family. And, uh, which, that's, to me, is the most important thing. Of course, I think everybody who watches my videos and the way I talk about my family, uh, my family is important to me. This saves a lot of money. Like I said, you're spinning well with me. Even if even if it was up to $10, that's still a lot cheaper than for a family of four to go out to dinner. Because I don't know about you, but when we take the kids, whether it be the adults, or the adult kids, or the little kids, when we take our dinner, we don't never get out for less than 50 bucks. And that's at a very cheap place. Even at the fast food places, we, it's easy for us to spend over forty some dollars. So, you know, it's worth it. And like I said, I know people say, "Oh, I don't have time." Well, you know, you, do, you try to make meals. Like I said, I have enough spaghetti here. Um, I know how we are. Um, I'll have some for later. And you can freeze it and warm it up later for another home-cooked meal. Um, this is my, I call this my meat pounder. No comments. <laughs> and uh, this was actually my mother's. This thing has been through the mill, but I love it. She gave it to me. Um, a lot of stuff I have is old. I love my mom's hand-me-downs because she's a, a chef in her own right, and she's got a chef's kitchen with chef things. So I go shopping at mom's house, even as old as I am. I shop at mom's. I go to mom mart. Because she's always buying new things. And so some of her hand-me-downs are still good and awesome. Okay. Let me give this a little stir. Oh, it would help if I actually turned this stupid thing on. See? Now if I had this on, this would have already been heating. The water for the noodles. 
We're just waiting for that to boil. See, we're doing this all while we're waiting for the water to boil for the needles. So, here we go. stuff you have the longer it takes to get my strainer ready and this is what I do when I strain meats so that way the grease don't go down the sink or anything like that I use a stainless steel bowl put my colander on top of it boom I take this off this can cool and I can put it in the trash or you can do like my hubby does after he drinks all his coffee, he saves me the cans and he likes to pour grease into the cans. Me, I just throw it in the trash. I'm always throwing his little grease cans away. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him, but he's over there giggling. So, you're like, well, yeah, mom. This video is going awfully long. Well, that's because I'm here to show you. This is real time. You know, how, how what it takes just to make a really quick meal. And the benefits from it. The savings of the money. I mean, really. I've literally only got five, six, seven. Well, no, wait a minute. I forgot to add in the meat. So the meat was five, seven. We're going to say $15. I've got fifteen dollars in a meal that me and hubby will eat, and if my son comes home in time, or sometime soon he'll eat. And uh, if the kids were here, they would be eating. Got making a meal that'll feed more than enough for less money than going out without the hassle. It's the time you spend together, even just now. You know, hubby's over there doing his, doing his work, and and if I wasn't here, if I wasn't here talking to you, I'd be bothering him, and he's just happy with me leaving him alone. So you know, everyone's happy all together. But the point is, we're together. Um, I'm not dressed fancy. Just got my shorts and t-shirt on. We don't like big pieces of meat, that's why I'm, I'm doing this. If you like bigger pieces of meat, you know, you guys know what you like. I like big pieces of meat. Oh. Well, no, you don't, because I don't make it that way. So. You like what I cook, and that's it. You told me a long time ago you did not like big pieces of meat. If I, if I know that, I would not be doing this. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. See, now we're arguing. See, quality time. But you don't listen. Quality time. I listen. Trust me, I listen. You listen, you just don't hear. No, I hear you. I listen, I just don't care. Uh -oh. <laughs> Uh, anywho, anywho, there, the water is boiling now, meat's almost done, let me stir the sauce, sauce is heating up, and what's, what's cool about this is once you get the noodles in there, 
you can use onions. And I only like to add a little bit of seasoning beforehand. It's afterwards that I add it while it's cooking and boiling. Um, because like I said, of the meat flavor and the onion flavor. I do have garlic going on there. I don't have any fresh garlic, or so else I would have used fresh garlic. But I love to use fresh garlic in the sauce. You get a garlic press. I'm not fancy enough to do it with the back of a knife. I'm afraid I might cut myself. I did at one point. I haven't done it in years though. But you just want to make sure your meat's all cooked, all through and through. None of it's burnt, but it's cooked. And I'll give it a couple more minutes. Of course, I won't do this video all the way through to where the noodles are done and we're eating or anything like that. I'm just showing you how quick. I've been at this for what? What? About 20 minutes? Something like that. 15. So, <laughs> right now I'm doing really well without having to leave the house and deciding and everything else. So, and then people say, oh, well, the dish is afterwards. Well, if you have a dishwasher, you ain't got to worry about it. That's why I like to use stainless steel stuff. Although, anything with Teflon in it, I do not put in my dishwasher. Stainless steel, I will. Anything else I won't because I don't want them to ruin. That's why I love stainless steel pots because I can just saves me from my dishpan hands. Although we do, we still use dishwasher and we still wash my hands. Not everything can go in the dishwasher, but a lot can, and I load her up. Yeah. So this looks like. The meat. There, I'm gonna put the fan on low. All righty. Voila. that's in the bottom of that. It's not enough to actually pour out or anything like that, so I'm just going to wipe it out. So that way, whatever's in there just doesn't dry in there and be easier to wash. I kind of, sort of, kind of clean a little bit while I cook. So that way, life isn't so bad. Alright. Let that wiped out. It is draining, and I always put the thing in the, in the sink because it's got a garbage disposal. And if I spill any meat, it'll go down the garbage disposal rather than on my floor or on the side that doesn't have the garbage disposal. And then I bring it over here, add the meat. colander out because this will be the same colander I use for my spaghetti. And if you rinse it out real quick, I use hot water, rinse it out, the meat will be gone. Alright, so voila! Mix your meat in there. There you go. So the only thing I have to do now is put my noodles in, and uh, while that's while my noodles are cooking, it generally takes anywhere between 12, anywhere we'll say between 10 and 14 minutes. Um, what? Well, that's doing that. You can taste test your sauce, see how many more. I see uh, how much more ingredients 
and what ingredients you want to put in so that way it can be all tested. And voila, there. And some of these do that. And where's my, there you go. So that's how quick it is. And while this is, uh, while the noodles are boiling, like I said, you do your finish uh, seasoning. You season while it's hot because that's usually when uh, things cook the best. You don't want to do it afterwards. And while that's boiling, table could be set. You could be talking, trying to find out what's going on with your family, and have a nice meal together. So, yeah, I just wanted to show this how quick sometimes a meal can be thrown together if you're busy. You still have the family time, you save money from going out, and actually the food is actually better. So I hope everybody has a great night and great day, and we'll talk later. Oh yeah, by the way, check out RB50's channel. She has a lot of great advice, and we'll try to put a link below. And uh, now, for real, I hope everybody has a great night and great day, and we'll talk later.